well, with my first Amaranth album, the Helix album, I guess everything was pretty much new. Everything from um, singing somebody else's songs to uh, adapting your singing style to another vocalist, primarily Elise's vocals, and really syncing together with her. Just a brand new situation, basically, for me. It was a brand new band for me, and, and uh, the band had to get to know my vocals as well. But with this album, then uh, we're used to each other. By now, we've We've toured all over the world. We've I've played with the band for three years. We're very comfortable with each other in every possible way. So uh, when it comes to recording this album, it's just a completely different situation in my opinion. I'm very happy with the way that we are working now. They understand exactly what I want to sing. They know more or less what I can give at this point. The process has been uh, just very relaxing and very enjoying so far. I think that uh, since we have been recording now many albums, it's very nice to develop your approach. Not that there is a need to change attitude, but it's just like all people always have different sides of themselves. And you can represent them in especially music or other kinds of art. And uh, it's a very privilege, I think, that we have as musicians and songwriters to be able to express those. I think that my attitude in uh, overall on this album is a little bit more low-key and confident one thing about it is of course what the songs are about that is actually kind of serious topics that we touch and also because of the key, uh, change of key uh, it's a bit lower than on the previous albums and which means that i can use my bottom voice a little bit more and that's actually really nice and i hope the fans will appreciate that as well well, I think that um, for a long time, ever since um, album number four, Maximalism, I think the uh, guitars have gotten progressively heavier, actually. So we started it to make it just a little bit more metal on the Helix album. I think it comes full circle on Manifest. And I would say that in terms of mixing, I think it's the loudest guitars by far that we've ever had since you know any record. So um, the approach in general is um, try not to overplay things. Uh, so some uh, riffs will be super, super simple, yet some others will actually be quite, you know, technical in terms of uh, rhythms. And um, also sometimes there's some uh, polyrhythms and a lot of, you know, stuff like that going on. It's always really important to, uh, to listen to what the song tells you. In terms of keyboards, there was a lot of uh, experimentation going on. In general, I think there's a little bit less keyboards but when there are keyboard arrangements, they are a little bit bigger, a little bit more massive. It's almost a little bit film score-like. So we're playing around with a little bit of those concepts as well. It's actually something that I've been trying to, to get into the Amaranth albums, you know, for quite a while now. So more, you know, film score music influences because I really like to do that kind of stuff. Well, every Al Amaranth album's conception has been different, I would say. Like from the very first album, when everything was planned, like it was unlimited time, obviously, to write the songs and prepare for everything. And everything was just nailed the way it was prepared. Already on the next album, we're a touring band. It just escalates from there. And now we're at a process where it, more or less everything is written in the studio. I guess I approach it almost like, a, like I'm programming the drums in real time. I also have a lot of freedom to, to do whatever I want. It's almost like trial and error. I'm a little bit obsessed, I guess, with almost creating the perfect drum for every song and that's obviously that takes a lot of time and, and we so we, we spend a lot of time with it and uh, if there's a fill that's not where it should be it might be good enough it might be might work but if, if, if there's something like with, with the stroke we, we nail it again do it again and again and again until it's there for this album I, I feel like I mean I have my ways of doing things but I feel like some of the things that we've done this time have been a little bit different we made sure the drums sounded really really good acoustic tons of mics tons of you know tuning all the time changing hits and i feel like and i can hear it. it it's for the drums especially we've you know we've really made an effort to make it sound fantastic from the get-go i mean there are many things in this um producing this band that are the same more or less all the time but we're always you know testing things trying out new amps and making sure that we, we get what what we really want for this album. And, and it's, it's not just like, a, yeah, we do it like the last time. It's not like that. It's always, you know, checking out, testing a mic or yeah, seeing what works the best, really.